let's listen. Welcome to Man on the Street, and we are backstage at Mozambique in Laguna Beach. Last night, we had a big show with these guys. Forever 80s Live in Pershing Square. I am here with Clive Farrington, Andrew Mann of Farrington and Mann UK, when in Rome. Guys, great to have you live on the show, because last time I talked to you, it was during the pandemic, and we were talking on Zoom. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, Jamie, it's really good to see you again, mate, and really good to be interviewed by you again. We were going to do it last year in the ice cream truck, but it didn't quite work out. So we're here and we're having something to eat as well. So we're in a very relaxed atmosphere. But last night was fantastic. Thank you for mentioning that and thank you for coming along. And you, the job that you do hosting the show is just fantastic. And I think that we'll be keep we'll we'll be doing that again next year, definitely. So. It's down to you to make it that good. That it, you know, it puts a little bit of something extra onto it when somebody knows the history of the music and everything else that we're doing. So thank you for that, Clive. First question is for you. In the mid 1980s, we're in Manchester, England, and you're looking for replacement members for your band Bo Leisure. Bo Leisure. Let's say it right. It's the American accent. Bo Leisure. And you're looking for replacement members, and you come across this guy right here, Andrew Mann, a poet and a vocalist. And you guys get together, you record some demos, you start recording songs. And the next thing you know, it's 1988, May 2nd, I believe. And it's the release of the debut album, self-titled, When in Rome, with the hit song, The Promise, the hit song, Heaven Knows, and one of my favorites, Wide, Wide Sea, and Everything Takes Off. And let's forward to 2024 right now. And things are happening for you guys. You're playing these shows. You just played the 80s cruise, which I'm going to ask him about in a minute. <laughs> and you've got a new album coming out, which I'm going to ask you about. But talk about this. I mean, in 1988, did you have any idea that you would still be doing the When in Rome musical project in 2024? We are surprised, yes. Um, and but the the great thing about the way it is now is that we are in control of our our, our destiny. The, destiny is the word. He pick, pinch the word out of my mouth. Um, we don't have anybody that's saying you've got to be here, you've got to be there, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. We we have choices and do it, and we take it easy. We're not doing those tours where every night because it it wears people out. Tiredness kills, and uh, so we we're very very lucky and happy to be still doing it. Andrew, this past March, you guys performed for the first time on the 80s Cruise 2024. Everybody has two shows. You guys did two. I was at both of yeah. them. They were great, high-energy shows. Mm -hmm. And, of course, there's so much more outside of just performing. Um, you know, there's, there's other bands playing. You guys go see them mm -hmm. and, and other things going on. Talk about your experience on the 80s Cruise 2024. Uh, yeah, the first time we'd been on the tour, um, we'd heard about bands that had played it before and got a good vibe from the sound that, you know, it was something that I think Clive and myself were a bit thinking, God, you know, you're going to be stuck on a boat being chased around by people and stuff like that. But it wasn't like that. It was really chilled. We had a good laugh. Um, we visited places we'd never been before. And we've been to a few places all around the world, but we'd never been to the Caribbean like that. Um, it was good fun. We had a good time. Clive, the last couple years, the actor from Napoleon Dynamite, the hit movie from 2004, Efren Ramirez, has been with the band. He played the part of Pedro. He's been with you guys a lot. He announced you guys on the 80s cruise. He announced you in Pershing Square last year. He just announced you guys uh, in Pershing Square last night for the Forever 80s Live. And he's been with you guys a, a very talented guy, and he, sometimes he plays harmonica, he does these things. Talk about the band's relationship with Efren Ramirez. It's really funny you should say that, actually, because I asked him to join the band tonight full-time. And uh, I think he's a great addition to the band, to tell you the truth. It's, and and uh, it, 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 makes, it gives us another 
element, if you like, but the, another visual ele- element. And the same as Chazzy as well, you know, Chazzy, musical element. Uh, uh, Efren brings a musical element as well. Chazzy does. It j- just brings a whole new uh, thing to when in Ro- when in Rome are different now, aren't we? We're different than we were last year because we've got two new, pr- pretty much new members who are part of the family, and it's uh, such a pleasure and an honour to have them on board. Andrew, uh, last couple of years, Brian Abrams, we mm. called him the Colonel Brian Abrams, was managing the band. Mm. And uh, I loved Brian. He was a great guy. He was yeah. very good to me. Yeah. He loved you guys. He loved When in Rome. He loved music from the 80s. He was uh, very good friends with the Reflex, the guys who played yeah. uh, last night at the Forever 80s Live. And uh, he passed away tragically this past year. Mm. Uh, we all loved him. Say a few words about the Colonel Brian Abrams. Uh, wow. How do I follow that? Um, well, Brian came, um, this is Clive and myself, um, in our lives. Probably when we first started doing gigs with uh, the 80s uh, tour. I can't remember what it was called. But we were doing gigs uh, in L.A. And there used to be this big guy. We used to come and hug Clive and myself after gigs. And he goes, I'm going to manage you guys. I'm going to manage you guys. And eventually, Brian did become part of the Wedding Rome uh, scene. Uh, lovely man, looked after us. Um, I had a, a lovely holiday with him and his wife last year. Um, and he was a big miss. He's going to be a big miss from us. Um, you know, we, we can't thank him and his family enough, to be honest. So he was a great guy when we miss him. Clive. Let's talk about, uh, well, kind of the elephant in the room, um, the big album coming out. Yes. You guys have uh, an album coming out, uh, your first album after many years, and it's very exciting. I know there's some really good tracks on it because I've, you guys perform them in your show now, some of them, and I'm really excited about it. I was just wondering, uh, you know, tell us about this album and when it will come out, because I know a lot of people would love to get it in time for Christmas give it to people and things like that. So give us some information on the new album. So the album comes out in September. It's full of tracks that we like, uh, which is opposed to the first album, which we kind of, uh, we thought was a little bit dodgy. But this new one is fantastic. September. I want to thank Andrew Mann and Clive Farrington for joining me today on Man in the Street. What an incredible weekend here in Los Angeles. And you know what? Keep in touch with these guys on their Facebook page. They let you know what they're doing. They're, they're really good about that. And I will see you on the next episode of Man on the Street. And listen to me on Village Radio, Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 Eastern, 4 to 6 Pacific. And before we leave, I just want to say, this guy right here is the guy who wrote and sings the theme for Man on the Street. Oh, if every, anybody got something to say, let's listen. Doing it, I was actually a little bit scared because um, I'm I get seasick. So even though I'm dressed like a sailor, um, <clears throat> but it was fun. It was fun, and then <laughs> cut. So it was an album that we didn't we didn't actually. He's laughing. his tosses off. Look at him. He's making a mess. Cut. cut. Go on then. We were. So <laughs> Here's the killer question now. Is the picture back in?